Hello my friends, in the third part of Kinesis with Lambda tutorial we are going to learn about the different event source mapping parameters for error handling. When attaching a Lambda function to consume a Kinesis stream, you are in fact attaching an event source mapping and pointing your Lambda function to it. The event source mapping will read batches of records from the stream and invoke your Lambda function for you. It will also handle the pooling, checkpointing and error handling complexities which will allow you to focus on your business logic. A good understanding of the different event source mapping parameters will make you utilize your Lambda function and improve performance and error handling. In the next slides, I'll go over each parameter and explain how they work. It's important to understand that each shard in a Kinesis stream can be thought of as a separate queue with its own throughput limitations. Lambda handles this by invoking a separate concurrent Lambda invocation synchronously to read records from each dedicated shard. So by default, you will have as many concurrent Lambda invocations reading from your stream as you have shards. For example, in a 4-shard Kinesis stream, you will have at most 4 concurrent Lambda invocations by default. In case of Lambda consuming a Kinesis stream, we can separate two possible failure scenarios. The first is Lambda service errors. Those errors happen when something goes wrong behind the scenes before invoking the actual Lambda function while the Lambda service is trying to read a batch of records from a shard. Lambda service errors can happen in the following scenarios. The first is Lambda concurrency limit. By default, you can only have up to 1000 concurrent Lambda executions in the same region for one account, and if you reach that limit, the Lambda execution will be throttled. The second is read provisioned throughput exceeded. This error occurs when get records called are throttled by Kinesis data streams over a duration of time. The second type of failure is Lambda function errors. Those errors happen in the Lambda function itself while trying to process the batch. For example, it can be an exception thrown while processing a specific record in a batch and we get uncut type error cannot read property of undefined. The great thing is that the event source mapping will take care of the Lambda service errors on your behalf. This is one of the great strengths of serverless computing. But what happens when an error occurs while processing the batch of records in the Lambda function itself? By default, Lambda will try to process a batch of records over and over again, until it succeeds or until the records in the batch expire. This is not a good behavior and it may present unwanted results such as fruitless retries and causing the iterator age to increase. The way to deal with Lambda function errors is to implement error handling in your code along with the help of event source mapping. Using event source mapping for error handling will allow you to do the following. The first is maximum retry attempts, which allows you to set the maximum number of retry attempts for Lambda. The second is maximum record age in seconds, which allows you to set the maximum age of the records that Lambda will retry and ignore ones that are getting old. The third is bisect batch on function error, which will recursively split the bad batch for you and try to process the half separately. The fourth is function response types with report batch item failures value. This configuration will return a partial success for the part of the batch that has been processed successfully. And the last is destination config, which will allow you to define an on-failure destination for the records that cannot be processed after all the retries. In the next slides, I'll go over each one of the options and explain how they work. Maximum retry attempts. This parameter defines the maximum number of times to retry when the function returns an error. It's not a required parameter, the default is minus one, 
which sets the maximum number of retries to infinite or until the records expire and the valid range is minus 1 to 10,000. Maximum record age in seconds. This parameter sets up the maximum age of a record that lambda sends to a function for processing. It's not a required parameter. The default is minus 1, which sets the maximum age to infinite. When the value is set to infinite, lambda never discards all records, so records will be visible according to the Kinesi stream retention period, which is 1 day to 365 days. The valid range for this parameter is minus 1 to 7 days. Bisect batch on function error. This parameter provides the ability to recursively split a failed batch and retry on a smaller subset of records, eventually isolating the record causing the error. It's not a required parameter and the default is false. It's important to mention that splitting a batch does not count towards the retry quota. In a normal operation, the processing function moves from one batch to the next to consume messages from the stream. When an error occurs in one of the items in the batch, this can result in reprocessing some of the same messages in that batch. When enabling bisect batch on function error, there is much greater control over how you choose to process batches containing failed messages. If there is a batch failure, the calling service splits the failed batch into two and retries the half batches separately. The process continues recursively until there is a single item in a batch or messages are processed successfully. Let's understand how this configuration works by looking at an example. In a batch of 10 messages where item number 5 is failing, the processing occurs as follows. Batch 1 fails, it's split into batches 2 and 3. Batch 2 fails and batch 3 succeeds. Batch 2 is split into batches 4 and 5. Batch 4 succeeds and batch 5 fails. Batch 5 is split into batches 6 and 7. Batch 6 succeeds and batch 7 fails. While well, this provides a way to process messages in a batch with one failing message, it results in multiple invocations of the function with the same record. In this example, message number 4 is processed 4 times before succeeding. Function response types This parameter allows consumers to automatically checkpoint to the least successful record in a batch. When consumers set this parameter to report batch item failures, if a batch fails to process, only records after the last successful message are retried. This reduces duplicate processing and gives consumers more options for failure handling. It's not a required parameter and the valid value is report batch item failures. Let's understand how this configuration works by looking at an example in a batch of 10 messages where the 6th message fails. At first, Lambda processes the batch of messages, item 1 to 10. The 6th message fails and the function returns the failed sequence number. Then, the checkpoint in the stream is moved to the position of the failed message. The batch is retried for only messages 6 to 10. This can help reduce unnecessary lambda invocations and prevent reprocessing of the same messages in a batch containing failures. Destination config. This parameter sets up an SQSQ or SNS topic destination for discarded records. This configuration sets up the on-failure location for events to be sent to once it has reached the maximum number of times to retry when the function returns an error. It's not a required parameter. It accepts the ARN of the SQSQ or SNS topic under the on-failure key. 
Let's look at an example of defining an SQSQ as an on-failure destination config. As we saw earlier, if all else fails, the event source mapping also allows you to set an on-failure destination for the records that cannot be processed after all the retries. Then, Lambda will send some metadata about the failed batch to this destination, but not the batch itself. In that way, you could retrieve the records from the stream later as long as they do not expire. As you can see in the Kinesis batch info, the metadata about the failed batch holds the shard ID and the start and end sequence number along with the stream ARN. With those values, you could use the AWS SDK and fetch those failed records for further processing. That's it for the third part of my Kinesis with Lambda tutorial, error handling using event source mapping. In the next video, I'll show you a demo of a real-time stock market streaming application using the serverless framework. The demo will cover all the topics learned so far in this playlist, such as the two ways to consume a stream and the different event source mapping parameters. Check out other videos in this playlist to learn more about using Lambda with Kinesis. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope you enjoyed and it gave you value. If you want to learn more on AWS and all types of coding related stuff, please consider subscribing. Thanks, see you in the next video.